Widely regarded as the first motor vehicle, the Benz Patton Motor Wagon hit the streets in 1885, and since then, designers, scientists, inventors, and innovators have all been working around the clock to build the next greatest automobile. And with things like amphibious cars, all-terrain vehicles, and vehicles ready for the zombie apocalypse, there are plenty of unusual vehicles out there for us to take a look at in today's video. So let's begin here with the top 15 most unusual vehicles. Number 15. The T-Rex The first strange vehicle to kick off our list is really making waves, seismic waves. The T-Rex is a truck specially designed to mimic an earthquake on a small scale by using its large shaker to pound and thud the ground below. The vehicle can change its vibration orientation from vertical to horizontal with the simple push of a button. Those various seismic waves are then recorded by the T-Rex's sophisticated sensors placed along the ground surface, and engineers will gather that data to determine how to best build and rebuild structures in case of emergencies. The T-Rex is a bold step in building better earthquake-proof structures in those areas that see more seismic activity. This heavy 64,000-ton vehicle with 5-foot-tall wheels was already sent to New Zealand in 2013 to help local engineers grapple with the seismic challenge following a series of destructive earthquakes that shook the area just two years prior. The earthquake was so bad that about 7,500 homes were left abandoned after sustaining damage, and many of them were demolished. The T-Rex truck is owned by the University of Texas at Austin and is currently the only known operating triaxle vibro-sized truck in the country. And while a truck that produces earthquakes may be strange, it's also pretty cool. Number 14. Ultra Heavy Lift Amphibious Connector We've seen some pretty heavy vehicles manage to make their way into the water. From cars to motorhomes, you can't get any heavier than that, right? Well, think again. Ultra Heavy Lift Amphibious Connector is an awesome water vehicle and probably the best amphibious military vehicle on the market. It uses a special technology in the treading system that makes it incredibly lightweight and uses air-filled foam tires that exert only one pound of pressure per square inch. So for something so big, the Ultra Heavy Lift Amphibious Connector is still incredibly light and it can handle literally any terrain on Earth and stands above the rest at 18 feet tall. But when it gets to the seas, this vehicle ain't backing down. Even with the heaviest possible load on board, it can travel on the water using its treading as paddles and can reach a top speed of 20 knots and go for about 200 miles non-stop. Not only is this the ultimate amphibious military vehicle, but the Ultra Heavy Lift Amphibious Connector is also one of the most fun amphibious vehicles on the planet. Number 13. Hyundai Zombie Survival Car the name should really say it all, a Hyundai Zombie Survival Car. Debuting at Comic-Con of all places, this car is going to let you live your best Mad Max life at the expense of brain butters. I mean, look at this thing. It's outfitted with a spike plow, spikes on the wheels, and floodlights on top so you know exactly who and what you're mowing down at all hours of the night. The window and windshield are all fully armored, so if you do hit a big one, you won't have to worry about them bursting through the glass. There's also rear floodlights to blind anyone tailing you in a high-speed chase to the end of the world, and the trunk comes packed to the brim with a diverse set of weaponry, not to mention the CB radio to chat it up with your friends in the Interceptor. No one's gonna mess with you if you're driving this thing, because it's pretty obvious that you know what you're doing and know how to handle yourself, and you'll probably be surviving and thriving in this strange new world that's overrun by zombies. But admit it, while this vehicle may look cool, it would look pretty weird under any other circumstances. Number 12. The TMC Dumont There's this saying, there's nowhere to go but up. It can truly apply to anybody, but things really go to the next level when it applies to a retired Formula One driver. Brazil's Tarso Marquez has quite a few two-wheeled pet projects sitting in his garage, but his TMC Dumont motorcycle is one of the most unusual, if not the most epic. Certainly, a head-turner when it's out on the road. His TMC Dumont motorcycle looks like it came straight from a Bond movie. It kisses the hubs goodbye and swaps out the traditional car engine for a 1960s Rolls-Royce aircraft engine to help give off that slick, futuristic vibe. The aircraft engine is situated right where the standard motorcycle engine and fuel tank would go, only it takes up significantly more space and almost serves as the TMC Dumont's full frame. And about those wheels, the motorcycle has 36-inch spokeless wheels for a completely open center design. So couple that with a 300 horsepower engine, it's pretty alarming you can't see what brakes the vehicle is working with. And while this is technically still in the concept phase, it is very much real, and Tarso Marquez can even be seen cruising on it. 
and since it's so low to the ground he needs to avoid speed bumps and potholes at all costs, all while avoiding sharp turns that could send him skidding down the street. So yeah, the bike is completely impractical, but that didn't stop him from winning the Best of Show award at the 2018 Daytona Bike Week. Number 11. LMV 496 La Moto Volante Built to defy the odds of physics and gravity, the LMV 496 La Moto Volante is a jet-powered machine with a tilting four-wheeler built around an insane fire-breathing 470 horsepower Maserati engine. And while that information may be a lot for non-gearheads to take in, all you really need to know is that it's a flying motorcycle. The Volante has swapped out its gas-powered mill for an electric drivetrain to give it a nice 62-mile range when it's in a normal motorcycle mode. But just with the flip of a switch, the wheels hydraulically move from their upright orientation to a horizontal one and provide the experience that we see here. From there, those four jet turbines pop out from the four-wheel hubs, and within 60 seconds, you can say goodbye to the ground. Powered by four 96,000 RPM jet cat turbines, this motorcycle is surprisingly light at 308 pounds, but delivers about 530 pounds of thrust for about 1,300 horsepower. And despite being so indiscreet during takeoff, the Volante conceals a kerosene tank within the composite body with enough fuel capacity to allow for a 10-minute flight. But once she does start flying, the rider has access to all of the essential flight information like speed, position, and altitude right on the dash. Joysticks on either side of the handlebars allow for flight control along with a quick hit of adrenaline. And while this may not be the safest vehicle in the garage, those four jet cat turbines were made by the same people who worked on NASA's X-56A experimental aircraft, so it's still pretty legit. And luckily, the Volante can only hover about a meter off the ground, so there's no need to worry about flying off. And if you do somehow manage to fall off this thing, just make sure to do it with style. Number 10. Kamaz Flex Futurum Sometimes, the best designs have already been created by Mother Nature, so why not employ them on a bus or a truck? The Kamaz Flex Futurum is an awesome design concept from Elena Petrova and Konstantin Fedorov that has the potential to be the future of freight transportation. The Kamaz Flex Futurum is made of an enormous caterpillar train that looks like it fits in better in a science fiction film, but the designers are hoping to have it on the road by 2040. Depending on the load it carries, the Flex Futurum can be 25 feet long or up to 65 feet long and is made from metal foam. So the vehicle is both durable and lightweight and can absorb any impact energy to help maintain the shape. Plus, Flex Futurum will run on motorized wheels powered by fuel cells, so this will be totally an emissions-free vehicle. And on top of looking great on the outside, the driver will have full access to the vehicle's bathroom, kitchen, and wardrobe, making those long overnight trips a breeze. Number 9. Hyundai HDC6 Neptune Back in 2019, the Hyundai Motor Company unveiled the design concept for a pretty awesome truck. The Hyundai HDC6 Neptune may be a bit of a mouthful to say, but when you finally see it, it'll have your jaw on the floor. Named after the King of the Sea, the Neptune is a hydrogen-powered fuel cell electric truck with an awesome cab. And so while it may look like an ominous monolith on wheels, the driver will have access to some pretty awesome features. The interior of the windshield will also act as a heads-up display, putting much of the information you'd find on the dashboard on the high-tech screen. And while this likely won't be available until the year 2030, you'll know it when you see it because it borrows its retro-futuristic design from New York's old steamliner railways from the 1930s, which were some of the greatest technological advancements of the 20th century. Perhaps one day the HDC6 Neptune will be one of the greatest advancements of this one. Number 8. Transit Elevated Bus The idea for an elevated bus was conceived by two American architects in 1969, but it wasn't until 2010 that China decided to pick up and go ahead with the project. Their Transit Elevated Bus, or TEB for short, was designed to be the bus of the future. As the name would suggest, the TEB would run on a track above cars, therefore bypassing traffic and freeing up some much-needed space on the crowded roads. In 2016, a scale model was finally built showing off just how efficient the TEB would be. Again, TEB would run along a fixed route, and the width of its passenger compartment would cover two traffic lanes, with the entire apparatus being about 15 feet tall. It would also be powered using electric lines above the routes and reach a top speed of about 27 miles an hour. On paper, the transit elevated bus was an amazing idea. It would fit about 300 people at a time, take up less space, and run essentially emissions-free. 
but it proved to be too expensive and too ambitious, and many said that the technology had not yet caught up to the concept. So in 2017, the prototype was scrapped indefinitely, and people associated with the project were even detained under suspicion of investment fraud. But perhaps one day the technology and the money will be there to make this amazing futuristic bus concept a reality. Number 7. Nissan Pivo 2 Half car, half robot, all unusual. The Nissan Pivo 2 is, well, it's something. The concept was shown off in 2005 with the Pivo 1, but the Pivo 2 debuted in 2007 and was somehow an upgrade from its predecessor. This small pod with four protruding wheels is meant to look like a car of the future, but instead it looks like a failed Disney World ride. It's rough and frankly unfair to anyone who has to look at it. The Nissan Pivo 2 is fully electric, and the entire car is capable of swiveling the entire cabin around, so if you're bad at parking, this may be the perfect alternative for you. But everyone in the parking lot is going to be staring at you, because this can also turn 90 degrees to drive the car sideways, because who hasn't said, this car is nice, but I wished it moved like a crab? It really doesn't even look like a car. The Pivo 2 also has a built-in AI that can communicate with the driver in either English or Japanese, and will do just about everything for you. If only it could be programmed to give itself a facelift. Number 6. Rainbow Sheik's 1950 Dodge Power Wagon All right, next up is probably one of the coolest but also ridiculous automobiles ever made. The Rainbow Sheik's 1950 Dodge Power Wagon looks like an over-the-top joke, but supposedly it's fully functional. And yeah, the first thing you're obviously going to notice is the size. The Power Wagon's tires are twice the size of a full-grown adult and are so tall that they can pass over another car without even coming close to scraping the top. But this absurd vehicle was built especially for Hamad bin Hamdan al Nayan, also known as the Rainbow Sheik, and is six times larger than the original model it's based on. This behemoth is so big that it has four full-sized air-conditioned bedrooms, a fully functional kitchen, bathrooms, and a lounge. Even the tailgate can be lowered down to create a patio deck. The entire truck is essentially a home on wheels, and it's been registered to drive on the roads of Abu Dhabi. When you have as much money as the sheiks of Dubai, you can essentially own and do whatever the hell you want, clearly. Number 5. Walking Harvester you may have heard of construction teams using spider lifts and spider excavators, but those are just names. That's not the case with the walking harvester, though. Created for the lumber industry, walking harvesters look like a good mix of science fiction and pure nightmare fuel, but it really is the famous John Deere company that put the whole operation together. These harvesters were built in the 1990s and were supposed to be able to work in all types of weather conditions and all types of terrains to help keep the logging industry open in rain or shine, sleet or snow. This hard-to-miss design features six articulating legs so the harvester can walk in every direction and the operator is given full control over each leg so they can make precise movements while making sure the machine has as little impact on the terrain as possible. It was supposed to be as close to leave no trace as someone cutting down a tree can get. The prototype was made to walk on the soft ground in the forests and pick up and strip a fallen tree in a matter of seconds. But if this walking harvester was built by the likes of John Deere back in the 90s, then why haven't we seen them everywhere? Well, the prototype didn't really catch on and never saw any large-scale manufacturing. On the bright side, though, the technology employed by the walking harvester found its way into other logging machines that came after it. Number 4. Tesla Cybertruck Next on this list of unusual vehicles is one of Elon Musk's most recent innovations, the Cybertruck. Debuting in 2019 to a backdrop of lasers and pyrotechnics, the Cybertruck doesn't look like anything on the road today. Musk and his team at Tesla were tired of looking at the same old trucks that we've been driving around for the last century and decided to go bigger and better. The Cybertruck ain't your daddy's pickup. This futuristic four-wheeler goes from 0 to 60 in under 3 seconds and has enough space in the bed to fit all of your flamethrowers. The Cybertruck is environmentally sustainable and seats 6 comfortably with an exoskeleton made of stainless steel and windows made of armored glass. Despite some minor and noticeably comical setbacks involving a baseball at its unveiling, Musk has stated on multiple occasions that the final product will be completely bulletproof. While taking one out for a spin with a car enthusiast and expert Jay Leno, Leno asked why a truck needed to be bulletproof. In true Elon Musk fashion, he answered, Because it's badass. Don't bring a knife to a gunfight, but maybe bring your cyber truck. 
Something this crazy, this futuristic, and this weird has to come with a hefty price tag though, right? It's the sort of car that only millionaires and billionaires can afford to add to their collection of toys, right? Wrong. Because the Cybertruck will start at just under $40,000 and will be available to buy in 2021. When the average price of a newer SUV is over 40 grand, it's not a bad deal to look like you've been drag racing on the moon. Number 3. Samsung Digital Cockpit Being on the phone while driving is one of the biggest dangers facing drivers, cyclists, pedestrians, and quite literally everyone on the road today. But if only there were a way to safely combine communication and driving. Well, it looks like the folks at Samsung are working on making that a reality with the Samsung Digital Cockpit. First introduced in 2018, the digital cockpit has been constantly evolving before it hits the streets, adding the newest innovations in EVs, autonomous driving, and semiconductor chips. This unusual vehicle of the future incorporates a 49-inch LED display with a sound system that makes the display content feel much more immersive, and the users can expect to enjoy a more customizable entertainment experience while on the road. And seeing as how it's a Samsung vehicle, the digital cockpit employs the latest in 5G technology that allows them the comforts of their home while in their car. That means making a phone call, sending texts, and signing into a virtual work meeting all while on the go is possible. Think of this vehicle like a giant smartphone on wheels. It's an interesting idea, and the car will even monitor your health, all the way down to monitoring your stress levels. Because if a human can't quite articulate your feelings, then who better to help than a machine? Number two, the Boeing Porsche. Boeing, great. Porsche, amazing. So what about a Boeing Porsche? Absolutely. The two powerhouse companies are teaming up to bring the ultra-rich and electrically powered vertical and landing aircraft to fly high above the traffic-ridden cities to pick up their kids from soccer practice. The urban air mobility market is still in its infancy, but perhaps Boeing and Porsche can become one of the earliest innovators. They've already signed a non-exclusive memorandum of understanding, meaning that they will look for ways to work together. They aren't quite locked into an agreement yet, though. The partnership is still looking to create an international team to get to the bottom and top of urban air mobility to create this unusual flying car. But don't think we'll be living in a Jetsons-like future with everyone driving in a flying car just yet, because this Boeing Porsche is going to be incredibly expensive. This is, after all, still a Porsche, but there are still plenty of companies out there looking to be the first one to create a network of electric flying taxis and limousines, and so it's only a matter of time before people start queuing up. And while this Boeing Porsche may sound too good to be true, Boeing's subsidiary Aurora Flight Sciences has already began flight testing for their autonomous electric aircraft in 2019. Number 1. Mercedes Vision AVTR while the film Avatar had a unique environmentalist message, one that may shun cars, the Mercedes Vision AVTR looks like it was made for the planet Pandora. In fact, that's where Mercedes got the name, and while technically AVTR in this case stands for Advanced Vehicle Transformation, don't be surprised to see a giant blue Navi hooked up in the driver's seat. The concept for this vehicle embodies what the folks at Mercedes-Benz think our future will look like, and they've incorporated four high-performance and near-wheel build electric motors to go with this oddly agile-looking vehicle. The Vision AVTR uses a 350-kilowatt engine to set the bar high for powertrains, and the torque distribution allows for four fully independently controlled motors to operate at maximum efficiency. But four engines and all-wheel drive means that, according to Mercedes-Benz, each wheel can be controlled individually depending on the driving situation. And because the front and rear axles can move simultaneously and in opposite directions, the Vision AVTR can move sideways at about 30 degrees. Only time will tell if the Vision AVTR will become a reality, but with a little luck and a whole lot of money, the wild dream can become a wild reality. Watch our Vehicles playlist for more top 15 videos about amazing vehicles. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best vehicle videos.